So this is another exciting day for me in the FOMO Cobra fleet. So I have a really interesting idea that I've had for quite some time now about a very experimental exhaust setup for the SHO. This setup has, to my knowledge, never been done before. It has never been thought of as far as I know. And maybe there's good reason to it. Maybe it's because it, there's no benefit. Maybe it's because it doesn't work. I don't know that because no one's ever done it. And uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go ahead and do what's never been done. So to my knowledge, this will be the first SHO. As far as I know, I don't think this has really ever been done on any car, but I don't know. Uh, at least in this fashion. I mean, obviously the whole idea stems from a very common exhaust setup on mid-engine cars. That's right, mid-engine cars. So, what could it be? I have to stop and get a couple pieces real quick and uh, we'll talk more about that shortly. <laughs> I can never win, man, I tell you. So, I just stopped at the, basically my local uh, parts store to get the pieces I needed, uh, except I didn't get all the pieces I needed. <laughs> So I'm off to another one and well that gives me time to talk about what I'm doing. So obviously you're really wondering what am I up to? Let me explain. Even though I make YouTube videos I watch more than my share of uh, other YouTubers videos and of course they have inspired me in many ways to come to what I'm doing now and to kind of give you a rundown you know months and months and months ago uh, if you don't know the youtuber Tavarish so he ended up working on a Lamborghini that was used in one of the recent Fast and the Furious movies so while that was cool obviously there was one part of the series that really intrigued me and it's when he did the exhaust work on the car see when they purchased a car and modified it for the film so they changed the exhaust uh, to a straight pipe with an H-pipe type connection. Remember, it's a, a V12 Lamborghini mid-engine, so the exhaust has very little room to go before it's out the back, right? So he ended up doing the most simplest yet crazy, effective exhaust mod I think I've ever heard. So he ended up buying this X-pipe from a company. What I thought was a good sounding Lamborghini actually turned into an extraordinarily good sounding Lamborghini. It turned into that just beautiful, high pitched uh, F1 screaming engine sound. And I love that sound. That is like the most cool sound ever. I love, that's what I love about the V12s with a proper exhaust and or V10s, it's just that screaming sound they can get. It was absolutely incredible. But I'm like, how in the hell did a X-pipe change the sound that much? Now, let's let's be realistic. The, the whole exhaust system wasn't just an X-pipe. They had like certain resonators and stuff that were proprietary to the design and the company and whatever that gave it that unique pitch. But it still was crazy the difference it made. And I'm like, okay, well, the SHOs, you put an X-pipe on these, most people will get the aftermarket systems like Magnaflow, Corsa, whatever, on these cars, or they'll do it themselves. And generally, you know, they take out the third cat and the resonator. It's mostly just straight pipes, maybe, maybe a resonator from the kit but definitely a lot louder than what was on the car. And it just sounds like a straight pipe 3 Series BMW. Now, while that's not a bad thing, it's just not my favorite sound. And I definitely would love a more unique sound. Now, when I think of a twin turbo V6, I think of the kind of like the hallmark of any twin turbo V6 car, uh, the R35 GTR. To me, that is like a benchmark car for sound 
in performance when it comes to a V6 twin turbo car, albeit the GTR is far superior, but we'll not get into that. We're poor men, we drive the SHOs. <laughs> that got me really wondering. I would love my SHO to sound like a GTR. How is that going to be possible when the X-Pipe does not do that? So I ended up seeing a video of a 2017 Ford GT with this Hefner exhaust. It was the same type of exhaust that you would find on like the Lamborghinis and stuff where it was just basically right after the, the Cadillac converters and X-Pipe and then exits the tailpipe. So the exhaust crosses over right there just before it exits. And that, just that alone made the typical 3.5 EcoBoost sounding even Ford GT, which is hit or miss in terms of sound, sound like a GTR. It made it sound like a performance car, not a family sedan with some mufflers. And I thought to myself, what is it that does it? It doesn't make a difference. And then I had a light bulb moment. I'm like, okay, so the X-Pipe made the difference in the Lamborghini, the Lamborghini's mid-engine. The 4GT, it made a difference in sound. The 4GT is mid-engine. Both crossover pipes are right before, like within two feet of, of the exhaust exiting the pipe. Maybe that has something to do with it. And that's when I come to the conclusion that it's more or less the placement of where the exhaust pulses cross over that gives it the sound, not exactly the pipe itself. Because as I stated, it does not really sound good when you put an X-pipe on this car. Most people mount them right here in the middle of the uh, exhaust and it doesn't sound good. So now, this comes to the fun stuff. I have thought of an exhaust that will basically place an X-pipe just before it exits out the back. And I'm hoping that with this idea that it will indeed give it the characteristic sound that I am looking for, that GTR sound or the 4GT with this expensive titanium x-pipe sound and that's what i'm hoping for so i has got a couple more things to get here at the next store and we'll wrap up this video and uh come to the conclusion of what will be next to follow <laughs> So yes, I did finish getting what I needed. At least I hope so. I get so confused with exhaust piping, inside diameter, outside diameter, what pieces are fitting what pieces. It's just, uh, it's like trial and error. Just, you end up buying more than you need, figuring out what you need, and returning the rest that you don't. So there's gonna be another video following up to this with the actual project. This is a teaser video. This is a video, I wanna get the idea out there before I actually released the video doing it because I think this is really going to be something that is going to be a pretty big deal at least among the SHO enthusiasts if it works and just in general the, this, the way this exhaust setup is put together this theoretically could be applied to many different cars if the idea works I want to be able to get the idea if it doesn't work then well at least it was a fun video if it does work, I will probably invest in uh, a much more quality setup, perhaps a custom fab setup, uh, the same way, uh, you know, a welded setup, and uh, it's something that can be bolted and unbolted as well. And if it works at that point, wouldn't it be cool if I could maybe team up with a company or a business and get these made so other people can enjoy it? But this is a test and I am not certain at all if it will work. It is just a theory and it's just a fun project. I've been wanting to do this for weeks and weeks now, but with having the SHO be in the shop for, you know, weeks on end with uh, PTU problems and, and transmission problems and whatnot, you know, now I've got all the pieces together and now it's going to get done. So in the next video, you will see the final product. You'll see if this actually works or not, and then, of course, 
I'll make a, maybe a follow-up video to that to what I might do afterwards. So you just gotta keep a lookout on that next video and I'll be coming up very shortly. So I hope you're excited for the project just like I am. This has been something I've been waiting on for a while. So it is almost going to happen very, very shortly. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. And if you like the content you're seeing, then go ahead, go and give the channel subscribe and keep a lookout for that next video.